Welcome back to the James Rule Crypto Show. My name is James Rule XRP. Follow me on Twitter at Rule XRP. It's a beautiful morning in Texas. The sun is shining, the birds, the horses, the cows, everyone's happy today, including myself. I just got through doing some housework. I cut the grass yesterday. I tell you what, it's been a great weekend. And we're going to go through a couple things today. I want to provide some information for you. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a cryptocurrency teacher. I've been doing this for several years now. I've had my channel since April of 2020. And I love doing what I'm doing. I'm, I love getting this content out to you. We're going to cover some things. So let's go ahead and get after it. Now, yesterday, one of my best friends invited me to a party for his son. His son came in from the army. And his son proposed to his lady last night. Congratulations, Hunter. Congratulations to the missus. Hope the best future for you guys. And also, there was a band there, and they played some Cajun Zydeco music. Now, I live near the Louisiana border, so we're Texas Cajun or whatever you want to call it. And this band here played some excellent music. I said, this is how we do it when we're near Louisiana. Check it out. You know, that kind of music just makes you want to drink and have a good time with your friends. And we had great food. We had great drinks. And Craig DeWitt, who was with, previously with Ripple, he's now the founder of Super Mojo. He commented, what's the Silver Face Fender amp that Teller was playing through? Sounds great. And unfortunately, I didn't get, get a chance to ask the artist, you know, what that amp was. But thanks for the comment, Craig. Yeah, it was a good time. Congratulations to Hunter. And uh, thanks for thanks to Gary for putting on that wonderful party. I had a really good time. Now, in a couple of days, Tuesday the 13th, we're going to see the Hinman documents. And this morning when I got up, I got this gif out there and I said, here's William Hinman saying, I'm out of here. And the question is, is that those $15 million in those bags from the Ethereum Foundation Hmm, things that make you go, hmm, I can't wait until Tuesday because we're going to get to see all the juicy things. And, you know, I was joking. I'm going to call in sick Tuesday so I can see all this. I'm definitely going to be waiting for James K. Fallon and John Deaton and all the lawyers and all the uh, crypto sleuths out there to get this information out. And I'm going to read it and I'm going to present it to you probably on Tuesday night. So stay tuned. Uh, this episode today is sponsored by Uphold. Uphold is a cryptocurrency broker. You're able to buy XRP and other digital assets on the platform. They are a wonderful platform. Uh, you can get the most common popular cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, ETH, XRP, Doge, Dot, Solana. And if you click on see more here, it shows you all of the options you have to purchase on the platform. There's a link in the description. Tell them James Rule XRP sent you by. Check it out. OnXDC Network. If you're not following them on Twitter, I'm diversified in many, many, many different use case blockchain ecosystems and xdc the zenfin network is one of them and on xdc is having a massive conference in austin texas at the end of august and they have a promo going on if you follow them on twitter you can win a ticket to the first xdc conference in austin all you have to do is like and retweet Follow OnXDC Network, tag five friends. It's a 48 hour competition. Winners will be, or the winner will be announced tomorrow, Monday. This is the event page. I want you to check this out. You can buy tickets with XDC, you can buy tickets with USD. It's coming up in 74 days, 22 hours and two minutes, August 25th and 26th, 2023. And the reason I wanted to bring up this page is because. They have updated the guest list, the speaker list. It's going to be a two-day hackathon. I'm sorry. Check it out. You got all these wonderful people here from the XDC Foundation, from Accenture, Chain. You got Dirk Sheppens, the CEO at Expector. You got uh, John McBee, ambassador of the XDC community, Quincy Jones. 
Let's go further down. Andre Casterman is a fintech consultant. You got the co-founder of Fluent Finance. You got Miss Crypto Eddie, special guest and moderator. You have Ray Fuentes, the community manager at Link2. Uh, Dr. Martin with Uphold. Bob Way, who used to be with Ripple, is now the chief product officer at Expector. You have Jake Claver, director of Digital Ascension Group. You know Jake. And look, James Rule XRP, baby, special guest. I'm so honored to be there. Hopefully, I can moderate a couple of these guys or, or one of these ecosystems. Uh, you know, it's going to be a great time. Then you have the ambassador of Certic. So it's coming up in Austin, Texas, in my neck of the woods on August 25th and 26th. I'll leave information. There's discount tickets. I'll leave you the discount uh, ticket link below. Good things are coming on the XDC Zenfin Network. Stay tuned. Let's take a look at the numbers. It is Sunday. It is 10 a.m. Texas time. Let's look at the numbers. Market cap is $1.94 trillion. Uh, Bitcoin is $25,787. Ethereum is $17,46. XRP is right at 50, almost $0.51. Cents. Cardano, $26. Stellar XLM, $0.08. Cents. HBOR, $0.04. Cents. Quant V Chain is a penny and a half. Algo is ten cents. Casper Network is four cents. IOTA is fifteen cents. I mean, XDC Network three point three pennies, baby. I mean, think about it. It's. I know we're in red, but like I always say, it's the Kmart Blue Light Special. Where where there's fire in the streets, there's always opportunities. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you to purchase or sell or do whatever. Just please do your research. Underline, jump in those rabbit holes and understand the underlying technology of these wonderful ecosystems. Now, this morning I was cleaning house. And I spent an hour or two, you know, dusting and mopping and all that good stuff. But get this. I was listening to The Smiths, New Order, Depeche Mode, and other wonderful artists from my generation. They don't make music like they used to. And I asked Miss Alexa to play the new wave music. And she did. She played the new wave channel. And uh, the church under the Milky Way played. You know, it's I love music. I love older music. I used to DJ. I used to spin vinyl. And it's burned in my memory forever. And I love these artists and I, and I love that generation. So let's get after it. Here's the top article I wanted to show you today. Ripple's top lawyer slams the SEC's hypocrisy. Check it out. And if you hear the dryer, I'm drying clothes. So I apologize if you hear my dryer. I'm working today. I'm working at home. Uh, Ripple's general counsel, Stuart Alderati has highlighted the SEC's hypocrisy and he pointed out the commission's stance on untrue statements or omissions in registration statements. Adorati noted that the SEC issues stop orders blocking registration statements when they are untrue. The SEC issues stop orders blocking registration statements when they are untrue. One that says, I am not registering as a broker dealer, a securities exchange, or an ATS because I'm not trading securities should have been blocked if the SEC believed that statement was untrue. Stuart Alderati, June 10, 2023. In the week gone by, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission charged Coinbase with operating as an unregistered securities exchange broker or clearing agency. The SEC's complaint alleges that Coinbase has been unlawfully facilitating the buying and selling of crypto asset securities since at least 2019, and they went public after that with the coin token because the SEC knew everything about Coinbase and what they were doing. It's hypocrisy. Alderati drew attention to the SEC's inconsistencies by stating that the statement I am not registering as a broker, dealer, a securities exchange, or an ATS because I'm not trading securities should have been blocked if the SEC believed it was untrue. As reported, the top Ripple lawyer highlights or highlighted the SEC's bet on the strategy of shock and awe as it filed lawsuits against the two biggest exchanges, Binance and Coinbase. He added, my money remains all in on the rule of law. June the 13th, Tuesday, important date. Later this week, the publicly redacted documents of former SEC official William Hinman, as well as cross motions for summary judgment in the Ripple lawsuit, are expected to be made available on June 13th. In a 2018 speech, Hinman declared Ethereum not to be a security. 
Expectations are growing at what the Hinman documents may imply for the whole cryptocurrency sector as a result of the new lawsuits brought against Binance and Coinbase. A vocal XRP community member who goes by the name of Mr. Huber bears his expectations for the reveal of the Hinman documents. Quote, I tell you, the Hinman emails will be bad for crypto. They will help Ripple, but they will show that the SEC's entire crypto policy, which was based on Hinman's speech, was illegitimate. Armstrong made this tweet after the Hinman interrogation, and right after the judge ruled to turn, Huber June 10, 2023. He believes that the Hinman emails will be bad for crypto, but they will help Ripple. This will be because it shows that the SEC's entire crypto policy based on Hinman's speech was illegitimate, he stated. Well, you know what? The fair notice, the rights for the XRP community, whenever the SEC sued Ripple, they sued the entire XRP community. They're stating that $15 billion worth of XRP or value of XRP was lost because of this of this lawsuit. And I think it was much more than that, to be honest with you, over these past two and a half years since this hypocritical lawsuit took place. But we're going to see what happens. Now, you know, yesterday I tried out Topper by Uphold. And what Topper is, it is a way for you to purchase XRP and have it deposited into your Sum Wallet app. Well, it's easy, and so many people in the community have sent me messages saying, man, it was easy. It took me less than five minutes to purchase XRP in the Sum Wallet, thanks to Topper by Uphold. I'll leave a link to it below. If you didn't get a chance to watch my video early yesterday, watch it. I show you how to go into X apps in the Sum Wallet, KYC, all that good stuff, and it's very simple. If you want to purchase XRP, not financial advice, blah blah blah. And finally, this is my favorite meme: XRP. I will do anything for you. Sell your XRP? Nope. You gotta go off the cliff. You go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love this community. I lo love having fun and getting these videos out to you. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I want to thank the several hundred subscribers that have subscribed this week. It is unbelievable uh, how many people out there are wanting this information and, and just wanting to hear my content. And I want to thank you very much. My name is James Rule XRP, the crypto teacher. And guess what? I told you so.